we should start. We can't start. Pussy. Brute. Puta. Police brutality. Hey, brutal I am in no way not. What kind of grammar is that? Late, yes. But I was mugged. What happened? Oh. I was standing in front of the coffee shop, the one on Yucca, the one with the really vile bear claws, when these demon children descended upon me. One of them called me fag and pulled a gun out from his little fabulous blue windbreaker and pointed it at my genitals. Welcome to teaching in the public schools. So I said, go ahead, shoot. I'm over 40. I'm genitalia non grata. Whereupon the little bastards pushed me into a gutter, ran off. You want me to file a report? And blow your cover? Why, Louise, do I detect a note of gay pride? Being gay's got nothing to do with being a cop. Yeah. <sighs> well, seriously, you should have seen the hate in their eyes. Over what? Living in a vagina-free zone? How many gays are there in the world? So few, compared to, say, the Chinese. Hate them. What threat do we pose anyone? Accessorizing them against their will? Oh, poor I live through Stonewall Allen. Shut the fuck up, okay? Oh, you really should have been born a man. Fuck you. Oh. I'm the meanest motherfucker in my oh, precinct. Okay, okay. I get my respect. I'm gonna stay alive. And my family will never think their only son is going to hell. You got that essay? Oh, those little shits. I love this jacket. Then why don't you clean it? Oh, screw the jacket. Let's just start already. No. It's her last time. We have to wait for Yvette. <laughs> you know, we really could take this on the road. The three follically challenged fags. <laughs> Oh, I knew you would be. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, Ellen, what happened? He was mugged. Oh? Oh. Oh. Yeah, Yvette, can we start, huh? For Christ's sake. I hate leading these things. Larry, you start and then just, you know, turn it over to me. Okay. The non-smoking gay men's um, stag meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous will begin with the reading of the 12 steps. All right, this is my last meeting. Can we just skip the AA shit and just move right to my, my pitch, please? It's not the rules. We can do the steps and the promises at the end. Okay, Louise, will that work for you? Fine. Hi. Uh, my name is Yvette, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Yvette. Hi, Yvette. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for coming to my last meeting of the Tuesday Night Game and Stag. I can't believe I'm not going to be here next week or the week after. But as you well know, uh, by this time tomorrow evening, I will have completed my final surgery and I will no longer be qualified to participate in a gay men's stag. You've been kind enough to let me stay these last few years on a technicality and uh, well, since my technicality is being removed tomorrow, I will officially become a woman. I thought she wanted this. Women cry when they're happy. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just feeling a little emotional right now. And you guys have been so important to me these last few years, and I know. I guess it's down to the wire. <laughs> anyway, I thought that it would be uh, a nice idea to make tonight kind of memorable, so... <laughs> Champagne? Are you nuts? You're not blowing your sobriety. Not in front of me. But, don't you drink? I just wanted to pop it open, you know, to celebrate. And then I thought maybe we could just... just pour it over my penis as a sort of farewell gesture. Maybe it's the estrogen. Okay, are you crying because you're happy or you're not happy? I don't know. I am not sure. 
I just... The reason I was late, I kept a suit, one suit, the Armani. I was surprised it still fit. Anyway, I tucked my hair back, you know, just to see how it would feel. I have been wanting to be a woman for so long. I never stopped to think how I'd feel about not being a man. Well, we love you whatever you are. Steve, Yvette, during your brief Lola period, we don't care. I always hated the name Steve. I, that was, wasn't a very good Steve. Yes, you were. You were a terrific Steve. I never felt like a Steve. I don't know, maybe I just didn't want to be gay. I mean, gay was sick and evil. I just wanted to belong to something. And so I didn't feel so on the outside, you know? Yeah, baby. I know. So if I become a woman, then I'll, I'll finally belong. Right? You belong here. Not after tomorrow. Don't do it. I never wanted you to. Larry? No, I, I can't. I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Hi, I'm Larry. Uh, I'm alcoholic, codependent, bulimic. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. As you all know, I haven't been in an intimate relationship for years, and uh, it's not like I haven't wanted to. I have. It's just... Um, I've been in love with someone. Uh, someone I've never had the courage to tell until tonight, this minute. I love you, Yvette. I loved you as Steve. And I loved you as Lola. And I'll love you as anything, as long as you're still with your technicality, because I'm um, gay and uh, I love men. And if you become a woman, God, I don't know what I'll do. All these years, and you never bothered to mention? Well, you always liked straight men. So I was just, you know, waiting, hoping it might come to this. I thought being mugged would be the highlight of the meeting. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you feel anything for me at all? Well, I'm not in love with you, Larry. Okay. Uh, let's drop it. Hi, I'm Alan. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Alan. I think it was very brave of Larry to say what he just Drop did. it, Alan. Okay. No, don't, don't. Look, Larry, I, I am so sorry. I had no, I had no idea. I, but you do know that I love you, right? You have always been there for me. You are the best friend, a girl, a guy, I could ever ask for. And the truth is, I really should thank you because you have made one important thing very clear. What's that? I'm scared. I like feeling like I'm a woman, but <laughs> maybe that's different from, from being a woman. You know, my whole life I've tucked my penis away. I've, I've shrunk it. I've ignored it. I've loathed it. But I, I don't know if I'm ready to part with it. You know? I mean, it's just always been there. Maybe it needs to be there just a little longer. Really? <laughs> I'm not sure of anything, except Steve made this decision, and Steve was a drunk. I need to postpone this surgery. Oh, Yvette. Larry, this doesn't mean No, that. I know. But, uh, it does mean you'll be here next week, right? If you'll have me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luis, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Luis. I'm gay.
I'm a gay police officer. I'm a damn good gay police officer. Oh my God! Huh? You breathe the good air in, the bad air out. You breathe the good air in, the bad air out. You breathe the good air in, the bad air out. You breathe the good air in, the bad air out. Nah. 